Hello, this is Jeremy Bailey from the environmentguy.com. So last month I was talking about the conceptart.org composition 1.1 assignment I was doing, and it is done. I got it done right at the very beginning, first day of this month. So really awesome. If you go to my website and check out the sketchbook tab, you can see it. It's around uh, 34 images, I believe, something close to that. They're all digital paintings around 30 minutes long each and they each try to duplicate a famous painting from art history so definitely check that out so last month i mentioned uh some improvements to the recording studio i now have the cell phone mounted on the tripod which is great so it's not shaky anymore i got this 10 foot usb cord to tether the camera with I also brought out my microphone to get better audio quality and I put an SD card in the phone but um, this is actually my third time recording this vlog <laughs> three times so you know it's um, each time I recorded it the something, something went wrong with the video file and it didn't work properly don't know what's going on there but uh, Hopefully this, hopefully this one will work. I'm, I'm saving it onto the internal memory of my phone instead of the SD card this time. So I hope that it's, uh, I hope it's just the card and not the apps that's running on the camera. So moving along, uh, yeah, this month, a few days ago, I went to the Van CG meetup. As you can see, I got their t-shirt. So the Van CG meetup. I've been there a few times before. Uh, Pixelogic has done, you know, uh, has done like a, like they they show companies go there and they show their new products. So Pixelogic's there. Uh, the Foundry is going to be there in the future. So some things with uh, Moto, Amari, and Nuke. Really looking forward to those events. Definitely going to go to them. Um, a few weeks ago, I was there and they had a recruiters thing so basically a whole bunch of people came it was like 70 some the event was only set up for like 25 people <laughs> so it was really stuffed in there but uh it was a great event five five people from local studios came uh, i don't know if i can list them off the top of my head but i know uh alan chuck from nerd corpse Nerd groups. I, I'm no. I'm not going to say. I, I'm going to get it all wrong. But it was it was great. Uh, my demo reel got viewed there, so which is really cool. You no, know, they all they only have enough time to do a few. So fantastic event. Learned a lot from it and made more connections. So very good. But a few days ago, actually last night, they had an event. It was a meetup at the new location at for a CG Masters School, and yeah, it's uh, they had a Black Magic camera there. <laughs> I was so excited hearing that they had a Black Magic camera, so I took some pictures of it, and I'm gonna show it into this video, uh, if, you know, when I edit it. But uh, very cool. They also had a 3D printer there, which is also very cool. I'd love, love to get myself one of those at some point in time. But uh, anyways, the, the, the people who, who uh, host that event, uh, I've been in contact with them for a little while now. And they're, they're heading a project called uh, Galactic Battles. And I've talked about Galactic Battles like a long time ago on my website, but uh, I'm joining their team. So I, I, I'm now part of their team. I'm going to be doing modeling, UV unwrapping, and texturing for, for the movie. It's around 18 minute short movie. It's a sci-fi spoof of like a mashup of Star Trek and Star Wars and Halo and all that kind of stuff. So very cool. There's around 40 artists. I don't know if they're all active right, you know, like right now, or if it's just 40 artists over the 
period that this has been in development. It's been in development for a while. It's sponsored by a whole bunch of companies. You know, NVIDIA is behind it. EA is behind it. You know, there's other studios and companies behind it. But uh, anyways, cool project. Uh, it's set up, apparently it's set up the same way Method Studios uh, operates their project. So it's cool. I get to work in the team. Uh, we use Shotgun, which is like a cloud-based... Uh, asset management system for so like everyone can upload their models their textures onto this the shotgun software and you know it will show pictures of their work it will show like what has been done what needs to be done who's assigned to do those things uh, you can go back see various versions of that and very cool i mean this is a big team uh, a lot of the people on this team either work in studios or the people such as myself who have graduated and are currently looking for for their opportunity into the industry. So very, very cool. Unfortunately, I can't show the work I do like, um, like, like, you know, cause it, it's, it's like a, it's closed, the, the production's closed, but I will be showing the final results on my website as they come out. They already have a few few uh, preview movies done. So I, I shouldn't call them movies, like uh, trailers. That's what they are, teaser trailers. But if you go to galacticbattles.net, check it out, very cool. So apart from that, which is like my new project that I'm going into, I also have a personal project that I have started on. It's based on Indian architecture, so it's going to be a full 3D environment. It's going to, hopefully, I want it to replace my current demo reel that I had when I came out of school. I, I've never been a huge fan of that one. It's not, it's not bad. People have told me it's not bad. <laughs> but I, I just look at that as like, I could do so much better than that. So I'm currently working on another one as well. And next month, so that would be August. Sometime in middle of August, I want to get out a, a uh, work in progress demo of that environment. It's going to be very rough because it's still in such early stages, but you know, it'll be mainly raw sculpts and maybe some blocking as well. But looking forward to that. You know, definitely moving forward and trying to fill out my website with sculpts and textures because right now it's like I have mainly sketches and paintings. No, that's mainly what's on my website. Of course I do have my demo reel but besides my demo reel there's hardly any 3D stuff on there which is weird because I'm a 3D guy. So definitely things to look forward in the future. And yeah, with, with my website since I was just talking about it I have some updates. Uh, I I got rid of a bunch of clutter on the website. I rearranged the tabs, so just a little bit nicer now. If you want to look through look through my stuff, it, it it's getting there. I I've been working on this website for a while. I've had uh, the domain for about a year now, so that's how long my website's been around. It hasn't been quite a year, but I I recently got an email saying that. Uh, my my sit my uh, domain name is going to automatically be re-registered so it's it's getting close to a year but uh yeah working on that so yeah um being part of the galactic battles team because of their sponsorship i'm they, they give all their members a license to v-ray and to maya which is awesome I don't really need the Maya license so much, but the V-Ray, yes, I've wanted to use V-Ray for quite a while now, and it's exciting because I get, uh, I'm going to get the uh, Linux, the, the, yeah, the, the Linux license, because rendering on Linux is epic. It's just, Linux is snappy, right? It's not, it's, it's lighter weight than Windows or Mac, so it's great rendering software. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be necessarily be doing any heavy work with that anytime soon or show, showing that on my website because I, I just I have so much other stuff going on but 
definitely looking forward to learning some B-Ray. So moving on, I talked about the projects I'm doing, the projects I've completed and some of the events I went to. Actually, did I? I, I no, I, I don't think I did. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm losing myself here. I, the, there's, I was going to talk about some meetups I'm going, that are going to happen. So on Saturday, there's the Caribbean, a Caribbean festival happening in North Vancouver. And I'm going to go there with a meetup group that's, uh, they do sketching. So I'm going to go there and sketch the event. I don't know what will come out of that. I, I haven't been to this, to this sketch group before, but maybe next week I'll post some new sketches on my website with uh, that on it. Um, on the 30th, there's going to be the, the Indie Game Developers Meetup, so the full indie, which is really cool because all these indie game developers, they show their stuff in progress and, and uh, no, they, they come there with their project files and they show you all their stuff. It's it's really cool. I've been there a few times before, so really looking forward to that. Uh, next month, EA and some other studio, I, I forget the name, sorry, but uh, they're, they're doing a presentation with uh, Unity Mobile Games. So I'll be going to that too. Very cool. And yeah, that, that okay, that's it for the events I'm doing as of recently, and I just mentioned my projects. So, other things to talk about, uh, the tech. So, I recently been looking for a game engine to run, and uh, you know, I, I did just mention Unity, but um, as a Linux user, I found that a lot of the mainstream game engines, they compile to Linux, but they don't actually run on Linux. So. Like, you can't create the game on Linux, you can only play the game on Linux. So I found a few really neat open source projects that are going on. And I'm, I'm only going to share one of them, because I've actually done some work with this, and it seems quite promising. It's called Godot. And Godot has both a 2D and a 3D engine. It's set up a lot like Unity. It's all node-based, easy to use. Uh, I'm so far I've made a 2D Pong game, and I have I've put in a 3D scene and rendered that up. So pretty neat. It's it's a promising project, and it honestly feels very refined. I'm surprised how easy it is. You know, a lot of these open source projects, uh, you no, know, they're made by software developers, not artists. So they're difficult to use. But Godot is really easy. It's it runs cross-platform on desktops. It uh, compiles to mobile devices as well, which is cool. So I'm going to be doing some work with that. Uh, a few months ago, I had a subscription to CG Cookie, courtesy of the Blender Meetup Group. That they're sponsored by CG Cookie. And I have a whole training series on Unity. So I'm going to be learning Unity. I installed it on my Windows on my uh, Windows partition for my computer, so looking forward to that in the future, putting stuff into game engines. And, you know, it, it takes a long time to render stuff, so that'll be nice, a fast way to show nice, nice uh, finished products that I make. And also, also of course, I want to do game games. I, I enjoy games, I also enjoy VFX, but uh, for, my, for my own stuff, I'm more or a little bit more game oriented, so gonna be gonna be showing that stuff. Uh, some other stuff. Uh, I found a cool program. It's called OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's a really neat uh, streaming thing. Like it, it does it capture. You know, it can capture applications or your desktop or whatever. But it allows you to edit your stream in real time, which is really cool. I don't know how I haven't found this project already before, but I'm going to start live streaming my sculpting and you know, painting and stuff onto Twitch, which is going to be cool. So looking forward to that. I'll be posting some links, not right now, but later in time, uh, links to my live stream. So I think it's really going to be a big 
productivity boost because you know when you're working at home there's so many distractions you know things like i could just walk up and get a snack at any time you know it may not seem like that big of a deal but you know it takes you out of that that flow when you're working really well and then you go up and get a snack then you have to kind of get back into it so being watched i think does a lot for helping being more productive you know because i want to do well I really like I want to be the best the best there is in environment design and that's that's a challenging task and something that takes a lot of time and effort to do and I think uh, live streaming it having someone like knowing that someone could be watching at any moment is really going to help me you know be on task all the time well maybe you know you have to take some breaks but uh, you know it's it's going to be cool. I'm going to be showing my workflow and all my work is going to be on there. So something to look forward to. Uh, another cool thing I found is raw therapy. If if you're familiar with Lightroom, that's what raw therapy is. I mean, I, I've known about this program for quite a while, but I used a different program called Darktable. But uh, since I installed Windows on my computer, I needed an alternative to Darktable. And I use Darktable instead of Raw Therapy because I honestly just like Darktable more. But when I installed Raw Therapy, I was quite impressed this time. They recently had some updates to their system and it is nice. If you're looking for something, you know, like Lightroom that you know allows you to do like color grading and stuff on images, or if you you know, it also works a little bit like Adobe Bridge. It has like this file, this file viewer thing for your pictures where you can work with all the metadata and stuff. It's cool. So if you want an alternative to Lightroom that's free and open source and cross-platform, absolutely check out Raw Therapy. Cool program. Last but not least, uh, I guess I'll mention a little little thing I found called Chocolaty. Chocolaty is a command line interface. Um, I guess you'd call it package manager for Windows. Basically, you just type in a command like Choco search Firefox. It'll bring up a whole list of applications that meet that search criteria. And you can install it right there and then without having you know, no having to go through like websites trying to find the software you want, you know, getting, downloading the installer and trying to dodge, you know, sometimes they like include toolbars or something in their installers. It's like, it says garbage. But um, with Choco, it does all that for you. You just search it, search what you want, install it, and it updates it for you automatically. So you don't have to update your software, it updates it for you. And you can also script it. So if you are someone who reinstalls Windows once in a while, you can have a script that has all your applications that you use on your computer, and you just run that script and it will install everything. I love it. You know, if you're familiar with, with uh, Unix-based platforms, I believe Mac has something like this, but I'm not quite sure because I'm not a Mac guy. But Linux, uh, Linux works like this. It's like having an app store like on your Android phone. It's, it's the same thing like, as that, but for desktop. So, cool little project, chocolatey, check that out as well. So, yeah, I think I've gone over everything I need to for this month. Um, uh, I'll show, no, I'll, I'll put some things at the end of this video. Uh, actually, maybe I won't. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So, tell me what you think of the video. Obviously, I've tried to improve the recording situation. Enjoy.